Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be installing some fans to keep my amplifier cool because lately in these hot degree weather, it's been overheating and going into overprotect mode. So let's go ahead and get started installing these fans. I already got the wires ran and uh, I put a switch on it. So that way, if I wanna turn them off while the car is on and the amplifier is on, I can do so without having to, you know, turn off the amplifier and everything else. So, let's get started. So I already went ahead and <clears throat> got one of these fans out. I got two. So this is the other one. I already unboxed one of these to see how it sounded and see how big it was. Here's the other one. There's the two fans. I'm gonna have one over here like this, blowing the air this way. And I'm gonna have the other one right here like this, blowing the air that way. So it's gonna be our setup right there. And one day I'm gonna get an amplifier right there for the highs and the door speakers. So yeah, let's, let's get them started. Let's get it mounted up and then wires ran, I guess. All right, guys, so I got one installed right here. Went ahead and put one screw on there, one screw on the bottom. I cut a little slit through the carpet right here so you can lift it up and everything and put the wires through there so that way I can tuck the wires underneath the carpet. I just cut it with the slit with a knife. So I'm gonna run these wires straight along here. All the way to over here because that's where I have my power wire. You can see it hanging. And I'm gonna go ahead and mount that up and cut the slits uh, right here, like that, just like that. And then put the wires, poke the wires through there, then do the rest of the wiring. Drill, drill a screw through it, do the top and to the bottom. And I already have my switch ran over there. You can see it poking out. One's for the amplifier, one's for the fans. And yeah, once we, once we have that mounted up with the wires through there, I'll be right back with you guys. So yeah. All right guys, so we got that one mounted up. We have that one with the screw. The screw's gonna uh, mount it up. So you know, we, we already had it mocked up. I uh, got the wires run underneath. How to extend the other ones, which are these, and I put a black piece of tape so I know which one's negative. That one's negative. This one's positive. Positive is gonna go to the to this one right here. This is positive on this fan, and negative is gonna go to the ground right here. We're gonna hook both of these negatives up and hook them hook them up to the ground on the amplifier. And we're gonna hook up the, the, both the positives and hook it up to this wire that comes from that switch so let me get everything wired up put this in place and then we can test them out so I'll be back once I have everything wired up so I can show you guys what I did and how I did all right guys so these two are my grounds uh, mine you can see this one's my positive lead and I hid the wires underneath ground wire took those away and then I can mount this up I'm gonna song. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Mount this up. I'll be back with you guys, and I'll give you a demo of how it sounds with just the fans on. So, yep. All right, guys. So I got that side mounted up. I got the wires nicely tucked. I have that side ran. The wires nicely tucked underneath. All right, guys. I went ahead and turn and put myself in the uh, driver's seat. So, like I said, this top one. I'm not done wiring everything up. I still have a uh, another one to wire up, but that's. A different thing that's for the LEDs and underglow which I did a video about anyways um, this is top one is my amplifier middle one's gonna be my fans third one's gonna be with the LEDs on the bottom side of the car so let's go ahead and turn on the fans and that's how the fans sound while the back seat is down and you're in the driver's seat
get you guys a better shot. So I just turned it off and if that basically finish up the, finishes up the install, you just connect the positive to the, the positive on the battery on the, for the fans. Uh, you can twist them together and then run a single wire to the battery. Or you can twist and you can twist the negative ones and, and run a single wire to the, to the negative side of the battery. And you can also split it in half on that one lead to the positive side and then splice in a switch, which is what I did. So you can turn it off and on without having to disconnect and disconnect. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. If you have any questions, if you like the video, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. We are... Now turn up!